According to the graffiti, Pascal's university is part of Syria, and the students here celebrate the Syrian presence. Wishful thinking on behalf of the soldiers who wrote it. Pascal came to the attention of intelligence agencies for handing out leaflets protesting the disappearance of Tony, one of the members of the student council at this campus. He was held and interrogated for 19 days. Today, Pascal and Tony are in the middle of their exams. The morning session has been cancelled because 200 soldiers began chanting Syrian propaganda outside the exam room. The same soldiers who've proven so adept with spray cans. A freedom of expression not afforded to the students themselves. The military presence on this campus is extraordinary. All the more so because it's not Lebanese troops watching over the students here, but Syrian. Do they um, talk to you if, uh, if they think you're planning something? Yeah, for sure. They take us always for uh, interviews or uh, uh, interrogation. Interrogation? Yeah. This is the army that isn't there. The Syrians cannot be filmed or photographed, and they're never shown in any Lebanese media. Here it says camping only for uh, soldiers. Mm -hmm. uh, they sleep here, but the Mukhabarat, the Markaz on Fuq, the Uda, the Mukhabarat, 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 the the message for the students is clear. The bravery of this group, some of them like Elsie, who are still at school, is chilling. Veterans like Ziad and more recent converts such as Pascal believe they have the support of the nation, but that is yet to be proven. It's still to be seen whether this group, which is largely perceived as Christian, can grow into a truly nationalist movement. Undoubtedly, the situation for Muslim members like Muhammad is far more dangerous. Syrian and Lebanese intelligence would regard them as religious traitors and it's much harder for the Muslim members and supporters of this group to speak publicly. The test ahead will be whether national allegiance can transcend religious alliances. I don't think that any Lebanese would prefer to see Lebanon annexed by Syria than a Lebanon independent with good relationship with Syrians and others. I cannot imagine anybody worldwide who will accept to see his country annexed or with a foreign presence. This is, this is unacceptable. Of course, I should be afraid. But I think with some 
uh, of the activists in Lebanon already crossed the line where it's important for them if they shut down, uh, shut, uh, shut up now, uh, they will be safe. Khalas, already they crossed this line. We've already endangered ourselves. So now, if we stop from speaking or if we do nothing, we will still be in danger. 